Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dara, and today's video is gonna show you the easiest way to connect a Google Analytics account to your Shopify store. Now, the first step that you'll have to do is actually create your Google Analytics account. You will need a Gmail account before starting this process. But to begin, you're gonna go right ahead to analytics.google Com. And, and when we get to this screen, you're gonna see that we're gonna set up our account for free. So yes, Google Analytics is totally free. It's a very powerful tool. You'll definitely want it on your Shopify account. Now, the first step is just account setup. So here you're gonna be putting in your account name. This can just be the name of your Shopify store. And go ahead and leave all these little check mark boxes checked off. Next, we're gonna be determining what we're going to be measuring data from. So you have two choices pretty much, website or an app or both. And if you're just doing it for your Shopify account or your Shopify store, then you just want it for web. Next, we're going to be putting in details about the property. So again, this is just going to be your website name or your Shopify name. And then you're going to um, also put in your website URL. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to put in your industry category. Now, there's a ton of options to choose from. Just choose the industry that's most closely related to your store. Um, and then you're going to select your reporting time zone. And I'm in New York time zone. Create. Go ahead and accept the uh, terms of service. And then you have to select your email communications. I, or I went ahead and selected the first three and not offers from Google. Click save. So that's how you create your Google Analytics account, but you're not done yet. Next, you're gonna open up a tab and go to the admin section of your Shopify store. Once you're here, you're going to go ahead and click online store and preferences. Now here you're going to see, you know, a few different sections and what you'll do is you'll go back to the analytics tab and copy the global site tag. And then come back and paste it right underneath Google Analytics account. Go ahead and click save. And to make sure that your Google Analytics account and your Shopify store synced properly, you wanna make sure that the code you entered turned into the tracking ID. Um, and it looks like this one did, so we're all good there. But the next step is we wanna test it to make sure that data is actually being properly synced between your Shopify store and Google Analytics. So go ahead and go back to the analytics tab and hit the home icon. Now here is the home dashboard for your Shopify store. You can see that it shows how many users are currently on and what the current bounce rate and certain um, session durations are. Now these are live statistics. So if you have a brand new store, it's probably gonna look like zero just like mine. But if you have a pretty popular store and there are tons of people on your website at any given time, your numbers are gonna look a lot different. The next thing we wanna do is to test and make sure that Google Analytics is running properly. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna open up another tab and go directly to your website. And what you wanna do is make sure that a user pops up and yep, active users. So this is how you know that Google Analytics is running properly on your site. And really guys, that's it. Once you've created your Google Analytics account, installed it on your Shopify account, and then tested it, you're ready to go. So that was super easy. Um, if you guys need more information about how to you know, really easily do some of the techie admin things behind the scenes on Shopify and on Facebook ads, click in the description below. I also have videos to easily set up your Facebook pixel and how to easily set up your Facebook ads product catalog and all of those things take under five minutes. So please hit subscribe if this video was helpful for you and be sure to leave a comment below if you have any questions. Okay, thanks guys, bye.